fist bumps going around. Characters locked in. We're just about to push that start button. I will say though, for a, uh, a stage with Joker and Robin, I imagine they would want more platforms, especially to get the extensions they could possibly get off. Um, maybe. But Sora also makes use of those as well, so... That's true. So I feel like it was uh, the lesser of greater evil. So game one, Rhythm and Pret versus Jokone and Micro. Starting on FD, and right now it's uh, looking to evolve into... For a second it was evolving those, the two 1v1s, but uh, now we're all on the right side of the stage. It's a hot place to be, don't you know? Most definitely. And Joker, a character in singles that sometimes struggles as base Joker, but as you mentioned before, every time his partner takes some damage, the RSM meter starts filling up. It's definitely more notable when the partner loses the stock like that. And there we go. Arsene coming in right there and misses the up smash out of that. Though that was to a uh, air dodge, so... That is true. Not the most optimal way to go out, I'm just saying. Almost. That was that was definitely the stock kill. Oh my goodness. Alright, little uh, friendly fire going on there. But he makes it back. Oh, uh, understood. Oh, I'm gonna have to go play my singles match, so it's been a pleasure commentating with you. Likewise, likewise. Good luck to you, sir. Right, both, both teams trying to run around, trying to get off and push advantage from center stage. No more stocks have been taken yet. And now I'm being joined in this hot doubles action. We are. We're thriving. We're vibing. Hello. We're in, we're in loses top six of doubles. Uh, first game. Okay. And we're already getting right to it. Now, I know that Jopone is um, by themselves a fantastic doubles player. So going into this match, you really got to have to see that you're really seeing them like play the support role with this Pikachu mm -hmm. uh, and going with the back and forth of See, allowing Pikachu to get in on the get in on the ground and establish this kind of really strong grounded presence, but Red Team's doing such a good job. We had been doing such a good job of like teaming together in order to try and um, maintain their own sense of stage presence while and, keeping Sora out. And this is a uh, I don't know if you saw like the beginning of the game, but Rhythm had a very early air dodge ST, so no. they're doing fairly well considering yes, absolutely the circumstances. Oh, okay, just simple combos there. Ooh, oh, ooh, I love on. that. I love how Blue Team is just like, hey, we're going to try and just inch our way forward and like gain stage control. Actually, both teams are kind of doing that same type of team dynamic, but a huge punish after seeing the third Sonic Blade. Yeah. Have to try and uh, go big on that type of Good punish. Good tech, but... Just Joker things. <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually just like a general tether thing. Yeah. He hadn't been uh, he hadn't been able to refresh it after the tech, so and unfortunate. But yeah, P and Pikachu as well, just having such an insane edge guarding flow chart. Have to see. Oh, he got the jump from Pret, but was trying to just avoid Rhythm's own setup. Uh oh, but a whole bunch of players off stage right now. Mm. And big meaty dares. You love to see it. That could have been another dare, but instead, uh, Joe Quinn went for the high percentage back air, one that's like effectively guaranteed to hit. First now, death. Arsene can... All right, just Hail Mary, why not? Okay, I respect the idea. A little, little miscommunication there. Yeah. First step for blue team is already accomplished, and then right. second step. Remove Arsene, remove Joker. Game one to blue team. Yep. <laughs> blue team wins. Now, yeah. if, you're, if you're blue team and you see that they play Joker Robin, assume they're going to lock them in, what stages would you ban? Uh, so PS2 is gone immediately, infinitely, good, every time. Good choice, and not, uh, and not just for the culture. Yeah, and it's the like it's it's arguably Joker's best stage. It's ar it's one of it offers a lot for Robin and this especially in doubles. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just a stage that you really don't want to mess with. Uh, I could see them also removing Battlefield as an option because it uh, that's more of a Robin ban, but they also but they choose to ban uh, Kalos to try and just force more contempt zoning and keeping ground and uh, more uh, offerable edge guards. True. Like those side platforms for Kalos can be such a hassle to work around, mm -hmm. especially in those like one v one or even two v one scenarios. Uh, and Town and City is the pick. Red team opting to go to Town and City now, probably to get earlier kills off the sides. 
and a little survivability going upwards. Yeah. yeah. That's a, it it's works for both teams, too. It's true, and I'm surprised that this was the pick, especially since Micro, uh, not only in this set, but also throughout the day, has been looking to combo his uh, his Nair and Fair Chains into forward smash instead of up smash, yeah. which is uh, much stronger and, and theoretically a lot, uh, covers your uh, mistakes in combos a lot better because it also covers like just neutral air dodge. Yeah, um, and like, as I've come to learn recently, just from like watching top play and fighting against the character myself, like someone who confidently knows what they're doing, Sora is what I like to call frame traps in a can. Yeah, that's true. Like, because his uh, his combos can be frame tight, but also the the biggest skill that you can learn with Sora is kind of recognizing when your combos aren't frame tight and go for larger punishes. Yeah. Granted, doubles a lot more chaotic harder to naturally get that, but it also means you get to trade off with your teammate a whole lot more. And Pret is swinging, by the way. Like, Arsene came out and they threw F smash, down smash. <laughs> I was expecting up smash to punish that forward air, right? Oh, and you, just as you said, that was almost a narrative to forward smash. Little mistimed, but, uh, so far both teams doing the best. A little bit of a scramble, a little messiness, but that's to be expected with doubles. <laughs> they both countered up stage there. You, you, you knew what was coming. <laughs> it's like both of them said, I know what you're wanting to do. <laughs> it's like, do it, you won't. Do it. Oh, I do it. And it worked. Oh, but uh, continuous, like, really good text by Rhythm. Like, you really need to tech Pikachu back air. And I, but I do appreciate that uh, that option from Joe Pone. Kind of backing off as blue team separates that into a almost a, into two 1v1s. I like how red team is just really conscious. Ooh. That was amazing coverage from both sides. He's he almost, but he's out of a jump. The Pikachu only getting one zip. Joe Pone was going a little, a little bit too ham there. Had plenty of juice to recover, but just didn't have the... I uh, didn't have the recovery on lock. Uh, careful here. Jokon dashing a little bit too far back, and Sora had to eat a ledge trap there, but, but didn't get the punish. That's huge. Brett looking for the kill instead of just taking the back air there, because the back air wouldn't have closed out from such a far percentage as Blue Team takes out two stocks and is sitting at a cool Michael five stocks. Still been up. Never mind. Exactly. Never mind, I spoke it into existence. Silly me, I don't bring attention to things. It makes the opposite happen. Yeah. Com the commentator's curse exists for a reason. That's big damage on the uh, on the part of Sora. He can't take too much punishment here. We're just looking to try and establish a juggle situation on the corner here. Very, very nice stuff on both sides. Rhythm bouncing back and forth uh, again. I feel like Rhythm needs to try and like play a little bit cooler here. Like, don't try and always be swinging with these jumping fares. Like, Robin is in their I best agree, situ yeah. situation when they're controlling center like this. Allow your opponents to come to you and uh, set up your whiff punishes for Joker, who's sitting in the back. Uh, alas, they've got a lot of room to work here, though. And a lot of... Just a lot to need to come back from. I'm surprised Rhythm's not going for, like, bigger thunder charges, like... Thorn is still very strong in doubles, like arguably one of the best projectiles in this format. Uh, it definitely is a ton of coverage. I don't know if it's 100% worth it because of how many, uh, horizontal both red team wants to be playing. Like they're mm -hmm. never often, if they have their choice, they're often sitting at the same plane, which Thoron would uh, eat alive everybody then. <laughs> of course, like use that, use it at your own discretion, but. Yeah. Just thinks it's there. Oh, very but nice. Loving Bear going to take it? Yeah. That's the last piece of 11, though. Both uh, Rhythm still sitting at two stocks, so uh, Pret has the ability, can't afford to Both be a little bit reckless. Making it back. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, just a down tilt, though. Are you going to chase Sword? No, you're not. Ooh. Instead, oh, but that up smash. Have to take it soon here. But I say, do you take the stock? Yes, you yeah. absolutely. Every single day of the week, because that can turn around instantly. All right. Sora getting dropped of Micro, letting loose the aerial slash too soon. Aerial sweep, excuse me. Now, I quizzed my previous caster on this. Do you know about Joker's unique trait in doubles? As in when uh, his opponent gets hit, Rebellion Gage still lifts? That is correct. Yeah. Uh, makes him a very good doubles character, makes him very good at uh, a lot of tools, but there's no uh, rhythm is has since dropped, so this Arsene is going to mean the world. Yeah, at peak performance, rhythm takes both these stocks right now, but uh, blue team's, you know, not going to let that happen.
a little bit if harder. And then, and again, another like, a bunch of really aggressive options. Multiple down tilts trying to come out of the corner. An extremely unsafe move, especially with two teammates here kind of swinging back and forth. He did land before that jump, so had a great Good cable. Wait. Another jump from ledge like that. Got to be extremely careful, especially since uh, you have to worry about Sora forward tilt, Pikachu forward smack in those types of situations. And this ledge trap, if they're able to be forced off and off of ledge. Oh, popped out. That's twice now. That's twice now they've hit that. That's so sick. That's uh, that's what you'll love to see. The set going to Joe Pone and Micro. Yeah, let, let me see that last stock again. I kind of want to look at the uh, which hitbox of Sora up air we're getting. So Survey we, says. We'll go into. We're gonna go half speed. Pause that. Back a few seconds. There you go. Play. Okay. Pops out. L. Double jump. So we're hitting. That was like the very start of the move. Oh my god, Devin blessing me with a pen. So we're going back a couple frames. Alright, watch this everybody. The power um, of technology at work. One, two, three, four, because this should be the start hits mm -hmm. here. Okay, th wow. Uh, let's yeah, that was the very start of the move. It's a, it's towards the beginning, but it, the, so Sora has like, uh, Sora up there has multiple hitboxes. Um, mm -hmm. Many of Sora's moves do. It's kind of similar. Do, to, do they send at different angles? Uh, they all send at similar angles, but they different. Uh, they have different hit stun values mm. and different rage scaling values, which is what makes uh, normal Sora and rage Sora very different in their combo tree. All right. One being here, here, and here. Uh, this hitbox you never want. You want either the inside one, which is the rage, uh, rage for rage combos, and the tipper one for for like the late for, for any combos, and it's also just extremely good. He gets hit, I think, because of where Joker's getting hit. He's getting hit by this hitbox, uh -huh. which he's going to send more that way. And thus, you know, shout-outs to Joe Pone as a uh, for and just Just being on that the angle. ball with you, that. Absolutely. Sora thinks. And Sora, he's, I've, we've been Sora seeing. Sora team thinks. I mean, I mean, Sora team thinks. If, if there was going to be a DLC character that worked better in doubles, it'd be the guy who fights for his friends. And I don't mean Ike. His friends are oh, his power. Okay. Oh, okay. Sonic Bean's got to go play his singles match, which Pools Pro right. Wave 1 is starting. We're still going to be streaming doubles. Sorry, so thank you all for having me. I've been Sonic Bean. You can follow me right down here. And I'll leave you in the very good hands of UBL and whoever joins them. Yeah, we're thriving. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try and help you out as much as I can. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs>